sideways. No, I know you. No, I'll If you slow down, then you eat it all. This is Jim. <laughs> so when I moved to Ar from Argentina to the United States, I had no idea football existed. In La Belle High School, where I where I started, when I went where I went to school, they asked me for four years. Can you please kick for our school? You're a soccer player, and I said no. I, I love soccer. I want to be a soccer player. And for some reason, I don't know, my senior year, I said, well, I only have a year left in high school. Let me help my school out, and I'll kick. And I didn't know any football rules. For example, my first extra point, I kicked the extra point. I went and sat on the bench. I didn't know I had to kick off afterwards. So that's how little I knew about football. So as an Argentinian, the first thing I had in my crib was a soccer ball and a jersey. So you, you're automatically a soccer fan and, and you love soccer. That's just part of our culture, part, it's, it's in our blood, you know? Hey, give me a sense. <laughs> And then this opportunity came to coach the indoor professional team. I never thought I'd get the call. I'm thinking like, you know, they just threw my name out. Thanks for doing that. I'm busy with other things. It'll never happen. And all of a sudden I get the phone call and work things out and, and now we're here. I love the adrenaline of, of competing, you know, and for me that's, that, that's where I get my adrenaline, you know, from coaching and, and the comp competition of the game. All the hard work, all the hard work is for today. Okay, today we send a message to the league what type of team we're gonna be, okay? But then I've been coaching my kids. You know, I have a 16-year-old, Nico, my oldest, uh, G, my middle one, and then Emmy, my, my daughter, that's 11. I've coached all three in soccer, and that's what I've been doing for the last 15 years. For me, um, I wanted to be able to coach my kids so I can spend time with them. Ready, go, go, go. There we go, okay. Tomorrow, we're gonna go to my daughter's game where I'll be, I'll be coaching her, and, and uh, that'll, that'll be the, the, the highlight of the day. I don't want to tell the strikers players that, but... but uh, <laughs> the, these girls that are 10, 11 years old, are, they're the future of the strikers, so hopefully one day I'll be coaching them. Come on, Sophie, work, work, work. Oh, Kira, look at me, smile. Give me a smile. Oh, that's a fake smile, but I'll take it. Family's everything. This is why the strikers job was perfect because it kept me in my hometown, which is Tampa. I love Tampa. And my kids can be involved with it. My, my, my wife can go to the game. So um, anything that keeps me away from my family, it's not gonna work for me. My goal is to be the best husband I can be and the best dad I can be. That's my priority. Everything I do, it has to revolve around my family.